Christ. Do you remember the Bible? Have you read the Bible? Do you remember what the Bible says in the New Testament? more than gold. This is the world more than diamonds. This is the word of God to bring you to Have you heard about a uh, uh, great king which is coming back and a great king has a kingdom? It is king of kings. This kingdom has a uh, 
In Bible and the Bible says we all are sinners but we have a hope Bible's nice. 
slaughter it and kill it through crucifixion, died and rose from the grave and coming back to restore his kingdom. Everything written in the Bible, it's a frame. Who wants to have a word of God? It's more than gold. If I were to offer you even, I don't know, three, three cup of coke or Pepsi, would you accept? I think yes, because it's a freak. Word of God, it's more than any gold, any money you could make. It's more, because this is about salvation. Salvation of your soul. How many years? How many years? But after that, you die. After that, you die. We could die here, but if you die in Christ, we will live forever. The only peace you may have, only Christ, by knowing that your sins forgiven. In the name of Jesus, who wants to have a Bible? Who wants to have a word of God? Maybe you need a prayer. Maybe you suffer a lot. Maybe you have a lot of questions. I'm going to ask you. It's a prayer. Almighty God. The plan of your sins. Jesus te ama. Jesus te ama. Jesus loves you. But you need to come to the Lord with the mercy of the planet. And have a Holy Spirit. And change your lifestyle. Because right is right. And wrong is wrong. What about you guys? Do you want to have a Bible? 
who wants to read the word of God. You may have to have this word tomorrow. Mariana. It could be too late. So you can go twice with me. It's a common grace, especially in the United States. When we have a freedom, when we could know to know the spirit and abide for one another, one of God. Even if you top richest person on the earth, you can apply. Even if you apply. But this country was not the half of country will go under worship. And the most of the rest country will judge by the fire of God. What are you going to say? And the Bible says you're going to look, but you want to find it. You're going to have the desire, but it's going to be too late. Today is a day of grace. Today is a day of mercy. Come to the Lord today. Because this day could become a last day in your life. If you die, even the earth. If you die, what's going with you? Do you know what the Bible says? You, you'll be judged. No Christ, no hope. And we proclaim glory of Christ. And we declare the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven put in your heart. What a pain. Come today to the Lord. Start to think about your life today. Because tomorrow is not promised. Think about your life. Ask God for wisdom until it's not too late. Because punishment for seeing you to death. But Christ is only and only the way to salvation. And the purpose thing on the earth is not to become a rich. To have a location to have a location. But the purpose thing on the earth is to solve grace. And only Christ paid the price for you and my sins. Jesus paid the price by taking your life from grace. Die and arise from the dead. Almighty King, look at the stars at night. Look at the sun. Even in ourselves through mirror. God created all the universe. God is real. God is real. And his name is Yod Hay, Bob Hay, and Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach, Almighty Lord God, and He's coming back. For more than 2,000 years, what of God continues to be spreading among the nations. Do not look to our and to other people. Look at yourself. I call this the Word of God, the Holy Spirit. You want to have a Bible? Вы из Украины? О, слава Богу! Вы давно я, я беру. You want to become a celebrity? You know when you die, you know what? Forget about it, it's too late. You want to have a start? Other houses, everyone, think about you. Talk about you. But how many years are you expecting to live on this earth? Do you know that one day we all going to die because what God says before we die and after the judgment. And Christ paid the price for you, my sins. We all are sinners. And the punishment for sin is a death. That's my purpose living on earth. It's not to become a rich or be poor, but to have a peace with God. To be forgiven. That our sins will be washed and cleansed. And I have a good news for you that God so loved this world. He said he's the kind of son. That it's not a blessing here. But not to be first, but have a lost life. Have you heard? Christ died for your sins. He took your life for Christ. Do you believe in this? Do you believe it? But not just to believe it. 
bring the good fruits and ask God for faith. But have, have a Holy Spirit. Ask God if you can have a Holy Spirit and change your lifestyle. If you think that if you go to church or you're baptized or you wear a chain with a cross, going to save you, it's not going to save you. You must be born again. You must be born again. It's a supernatural power of God. You want to read about this? You want to have a Bible? You want to read the Word of God, guys? You want to read it? It's a very serious. It's about yourself. Every say you do not die. Choose the lie. God has a confession for you because God doesn't want that you you die forever. But if you die without Christ, you die forever. And life is wasted. And this is end times. Look how God's prophecy is fulfilled every day. Look what's going on in the It's just the beginning. It's not going to be better. It's not going to be better. It's just the beginning. And you pray this is just the beginning. In the words of will, and in the great war, and God will judge America. God will judge this beautiful country because the sin of this people, the sin of this government, the sin. Because people don't want to repent. And all the buildings you see here will fall down. And the enemy will attack this country with a nuclear weapon. And the most people of Chicago will die. But if you die in Christ, you will live. If we need to die, we will. But if we die in Christ, we will live forever. You may laugh. You may think that I'm a crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm here with the word of God. I'm here to remind you that God belongs to you very much. And God commands you, not me. God was the great king. And the Lord of Moses commands you to repent. To repent. Because Christ came into this world. Not to condemn. But that we might be saved in him and to him. And he is the light. He's the light house. Look at him. And you'll be forgiven. Have a power of Holy Spirit. Change the lifestyle. It's not easy. It's not easy because she has a great power. Come to the Lord until it's not too late. Come to the Lord. Do not die. Have a life. Have a life. Have a life. Have a life. Assurance of salvation. We all need to be saved. We all, if we want to live, if I'm not talking about the life of this earth, I'm talking about eternal life. Maybe you expected a good, quiet time, and you think I'm disturbing you, but I'm not. I'm here with a great compassion about your souls. Because without Christ you die, and you will die. Without Christ you will be in the hell. Christ is all the way to salvation. He is the way. He is the truth. And He is the life. Not just the life we have temporarily here as a pilgrimage, but everlasting life. Have you read the Bible? Do you want to know the truth? Do not follow the agenda of this world, but come to the Lord if you want to know the truth. Names and Jesus never going to be judged. And we are here to proclaim the gospel of kingdom of heaven that God commands you to repent and believe in the gospel. Hallelujah. It's a prayer. Who wants to read the word of God? It's a prayer. Guys, do you want to have a Bible? Guys, do you want to read the Word of God? Time is coming when you may prove to find the Word of God in any The time is coming. You celebrities want to help you on a day of judgment. All the crimes will help you. Even today, if you go to church, 
have to make a decision. If you're going to repent, if you're going to confess, if you're going to come to Christ, you come to the Lord. Ask God for the Holy Spirit. blessed by hearing wonderful news of salvation and it's a witness into your life for you and it's your choice it's your decision to make a choice it's your right dear soul and my desire is that you want to choose the right the truth that Christ can right that you would to choose. Do not choose the death. Even a change of his world. And the evil one where it falls. But the Christ in his mercy. And Jesus is shed on the cross. And the love of God. Because the seed of this country. The Christ is coming back. And her. Your soul, prepare your way, prepare yourself to be the Lord Jesus Christ. A great judgment is coming. A great judgment is coming, but today it's a day of grace. Today it's a day of mercy from a great king. And this is a gospel of kingdom of heaven that God commands you to repent and change your lifestyle. Ask God for mercy or repentance. Ask God for Holy Spirit until it's not too late. And it's not important, you Jewish, you Muslim. Christ is only the way. You need to have a Jesus Christ as the Lord. Read the Word of God. Read the Word of God until it's not too late. Read the Word of God. Your souls and choose the light. Choose the life for God. So love this world. He sent his begotten son. That whosoever believes in him will not be perished, but have an everlasting life. 
And the God is holy. And her blessing eyes. Sin must to be punished. And the sin to punish us. For the God said he is the God of Son, Jesus Christ. Oh dear people of the sky. Dear guest. Just the dear souls. Hear the word of God. It is written. In the Gospel of John, 3.16 in the New Testament, that God so loved this world, He said it is to that us That we should have a belief in Him, we will have to be purged and have an everlasting life. At the meeting seat, the time is close. This history finishes. God's prophecies will be fulfilled. That last part of God's promise of going to be fulfilled. And a great promise that as we going to be in Christ, if we're going to confess our sins, the believe in Jesus, we're going to live on this earth. I was saying that we are born and we die after the judgment. God is not that. God is real and He is coming and He is not And He is not stable. The word of God to bring you to salvation. Do you want to be forgiven? Do you want to save your soul? And one day I got a life. Came to mercy and faith to seek Christ and his eyes. But not only to die, but not only to die. And that's Christ And you'll be forgiven. Punishment for sin is a death, and it's an eternal death. But you still have a hope until you're still alive on the earth. When you die, it's no more hope. If you die without the Christ, but if you die in Jesus, He is our righteousness. He is. God. Do you know Christ? Thank <laughs> you. 